I don't say this to a lot of people. You know what year this is going to be for me? What year? I am starting my 16th year. Wow. Yeah, that's what I say, wow. How do you think Duke has changed in that time? Oh my gosh. Duke has a lot more diversity than when I came. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that Duke draws from, you know, as many countries as it does. I mean, it's something like 80 countries from around the world and then from just about all the states. Campus life includes seven cultural centers, or some people call them identity centers. Do you know about them? I did know about them. Have you been to them? I have been to them. Oh my gosh, you are a great student. <laughs> Thank you know, you. there are those students who feel like, okay, I can't go to the Mary Lou Williams Center for Black Culture because I'm not black, and that's crazy. Everybody goes to the Mary Lou Williams Center for Black Culture. We also have the Center for Multicultural Affairs. Native American students have come together and where they meet. And then we also have La Casa, where um, the, our Latino student groups meet. And then there's also another area um, where our Asian American students meet. Now, they all come together in the Center for Multicultural Affairs, and it's in the Bryan Center. Right. Also in the Bryan Center, next to my office, is the Center for Sexual and Gender Diversity. We also have our Women's Center, which is on East Campus. It's really good. It's the fact that it's on East Campus, our, our first year students, that'll be one of the first centers that they get to meet. Right. We have our Center for Muslim Life, mm -hmm. and um, we have a Center for Jewish Life at Duke. Even though the centers have you know, a clergy person on staff in mm -hmm. each of the areas, these are not religious centers. These are really cultural centers. Right. And so um, that's important for, for, I think, all students to know. And then we have International House. Absolutely. And so International House is on Central Campus, and that is the center that welcomes all of our first-year students and scholars who come to this country you know, for the first time. In this world, when we leave here and we go out into the world, we're going to be working with people and working together. And so we want people to come to Duke and really have that rich experience. Some of my greatest growth as a Duke student uh -huh. has occurred by challenging myself, you know, by going to oh. by going to identity centers and places that I don't think I would usually, when I came right. into Duke, that I wouldn't, I wouldn't say to myself, like, oh, I really either belong there or I should right. go there. In my experience, when you go to these places, the people there are so kind, they're so welcoming, and they're so eager to, especially at the cultural centers, they're so eager to share with you. When you come in with an open mind and you want to learn, like they're so, they're so happy to see you there. It's really great. Well, we've come to the end of the road. Class of 2021, we are so excited to welcome you to campus. We can't wait for you to be here. Oh, that's and so true. We hope that you take this information from this video and you explore the identity centers and you love your time here at Duke. So for another edition of 30 Days to Duke, we're signing off. Bye.